Welcome to TestTube, the future of knowledge repository. We believe the knowledge is open for everyone for free and our mission is to gather such knowledge content of various technologies and various industries at one place and make it available for everybody. If you do believe in such vision and want to be a part of it and want to contribute your knowledge to this mission, we definitely welcome you. So please write to us or get in touch with us over the email given below which is sharetestube at gmail.com. We can plan it and the credit to your contribution goes to you. And for those who want to explore more, please subscribe to my channel and also you can check my blog given below which is forwardstyles.blogspot.com. In this video, we are going to see how to validate JSON schema uh, using match result class in REST assured. Okay, so now let's try to understand before that uh, the JSON which we wanted to validate in, in the sense the API which we wanted to validate in the postman. So this is the API which is get user api so this is returning the list of users which are in page 2 so when, when i click on send button so this is the response what i got it has returned me like these many values so this is the response of the api it has returned the ids and each id has the first name last name and the email id associated to that person so when you wanted to validate a json response so what do you particularly validate uh, in the json is you will validate the email id and you will validate whether the first name and last name uh, are belonging to that email id or whether the email id belongs to this person or not in this particular response as per the business logic so that's what you do and but even before you start validating the uh, json response at field levels there is one more quick way to validate uh, the response and say that this is a validate response or not the quick way is to validate the json schema so when i say schema it means like it is the structure of the api so what is what are the different nodes that this response is containing and what are the each elements in the node are containing and what are the field and what is the data type associated to that field so these details are on um, or the schemas are defining the schema of the api so i said uh, validating the schema is quicker than validating the field levels right but when i see when i just explain what is schema it looks like bigger like you have to validate the format of the entire json uh, it looks like a tedious task right but automation makes it very simple so that's why i said with the help of automation and as a first step if you can validate the json schema even before you proceed for the field level validations you will understand uh, the perfectness of the response the correctness of the api response so now let us see how this is done okay mm, how this is done in postman is using tiny validator and ajv validator so for this you can visit my channel so here you will see like uh, there are many videos out of this you can see postman videos json schema validation in postman using ajv and using tiny validator so this is quick you can go through the videos and this is very short as well okay now let us see how this is done in the rest assured and even before that first let's try to understand briefly like what is the json schema and how does it look like for any this is the json response right this is the json response now how do you understand the schema of it to tell in theory i can tell that this is an integer this is an integer and this is a string and this defines like the structure of the json but how do you make a script understand uh, what is this schema so for this one there are two aspects one is if it is in your projects uh, normally it will be given uh, to you the schema of the api response what it is supposed to return so you can have the schema directly given to you and you can use that schema as a validation for your responses and first of all why it is important to validate the schema so for example you wanted to validate this response if you think that this is one time activity then it's not 
that's why you are going to do the automation using schema validation so the thing is uh, for page 2 you got this response so for page 3 also you will get the response so like this you will get many different values possibly but the format of the values is going to stay the same so once you uh, generate a schema for it once you have the schema for this you can verify multiple combinations of the responses for your business purposes but for all those business values the schema is going to stay the same the schema of the response is going to stay the same so once you have the schema you can use that schema to compare against different types of business logics and filters filter conditions that you have over here so that is why it is a useful technique that you do schema validation automation uh, in your automation suit okay so that is why it is important that you do schema validation and that should be the first step preferably so now let's see so this is the response i got so you can go to google response to the schema then it will return you many websites so out of the websites i have picked one of the web so this is the response from the postman i copied it and i go to this website and i paste it over here and then i say that i am not robot and i click on generate schema so then it has returned the schema for me okay you can see right the schema here so you will see that okay the nodes that are there in this api and the integer i mean type of the node i mean type of the data that it is accepting so this is the schema okay if you got the schema from the developer it is well and good if you don't get it uh, you can with the help of sample json response at least you can generate the schema and you can use this schema to validate many different combinations of the api responses that you get for the certain api so you can copy this uh, json response okay, there should be a copy button okay there is a copy button so you can copy this json response and you can save it in a notepad file and save it as dot json okay so this is how you can have your schema now you have the schema against which you wanted to validate your all responses for different business logics so now let us go to the um, automation coding in rest assured okay so this is my test case and the first steps are uh, simple like first you are preparing the url i mean you are giving the server where you kept the api that you wanted to run and you have created an object with the request of type request specification and using that object you have set the header and you have set the authentication for the api which you are going to execute you set the parameters and you set the content and then you run the api and you capture that api response into response object which is resp so now you you got you got the response in your hand now you have copied the schema against which you wanted to validate so now i kept the schema and i stored it in a notepad and i saved it as a schema one dot json file okay here i copied it and i save this file so now i have the schema against which i wanted to validate and i have captured the response in the response object so now with the help of there are many ways in fact to do schema validations in automation here we are going by this method using matcher assert class okay so this matcher assert class has access to this method assert that this is going to do the assertion and it is typically taking two arguments the first one is the response what we got and the second argument is the schema against what against which we are going to do the validation so the second val the second argument is uh, again using this particular class and uh, the method so which is json schema validator dot matches json schema in class path and here we are giving the path where we have kept the schema so we have kept the schema over here right 
so I gave the path where this is so it is under the class path so like I said uh, this method is taking the schema from the class path so I kept the schema in the class paths okay let us have a look into this functions and let's try to understand let us try to access match assert class so this is having the method only method assert that and this is overloaded so there are three assert that methods which are overloaded one is taking two arguments the other one three and the other one two arguments here i am use i am calling the assert that method which is taking two arguments the first one is the actual response and the second one is the schema against which it has to validate and the second argument itself is again calling i mean it is an argument and that argument is uh, passing the schema which is there in certain path so that is called through this methods which are under this particular class again which is json schema validator class and this has this main method which is responsible to actually generate the schema i mean in a format that can be compared so that is the match matches json schema and it takes different arguments and we have used this particular method uh, and this is taking the argument of the schema which we have stored in the class path so we have used that but otherwise there is many different ways so for example if you kept your schema in some url so then you can instead calling uh, this particular method ma matches json schema in class path you would have called matches json schema and as an argument you will pass the url where you kept the schema which you wanted to validate so that is also possible but okay however in this example we go by the class path so i have shown you that i kept the J sample json schema over there and that's all it's just one statement which is going to this lot of work of validating the entire schema of the api response now let me run this one and and see the results I can run it here okay it has executed and it passed uh, it has passed the test cases let us see the console so this is the response I just printed the response and it has passed the schema validation because I literally generated the schema from the response itself and obviously it will execute I mean it will say the format is correct now let us test a failure scenario so let's go to the schema and change the schema and let us change uh, this page type to string so it is the actual result is coming as a integer but I gave the schema an instruction that it is it should be string and now let me run this okay it it has failed the test case now let's see what is the failure so you see that uh, what is it expecting is it is expecting the content to match against the given schema but it failed the error is that instance type integer doesn't match any allowed primitive type so it is allowing it is expecting string type but it has returned the integer so obviously the response has returned uh, integer in uh, page so this is the it is also telling which field has failed page so we have changed the integer type of page sorry data type of page to string but in the response we got the integer so that's why it has failed so it is also giving indicating like where is the exact failure in case of uh, schema failure so for example uh, in real-time scenarios uh, for example if they have done changes uh, to certain data types all you just have to do is you have to update the schema 
and you run the API. So if this, if you have updated the schemas and you run the API and the APIs are also returning uh, the response, which is, I mean, the second time when you are running, the API is supposed to return this uh, response and that should match to the updated schema. So that way your work is lesser. Uh, it is reduced just by, you know, the help of one line to validate the entire api so that is why it is very crucial step in automation api automation and this should be the first step so uh, yeah that's all for this if you like this video click on the like button and if you like it even more don't forget to subscribe this channel and also don't forget to spread a word to your friends who are looking for such content and also if you have any questions also if you want to join this mission with us please do write to share test tube at gmail.com and also if you have missed any of these videos and also if you are a person who likes to read the content as this please visit fourwearstyles.blogspot.com thank you for watching this video